people of the internet, my name is Creation, and today I think I have found the best PDW to ever hit the Battlefield series. But first, we have to cover some speculating rumors that have been kind of bubbling around the past week. So, let me introduce you to rumor number one. Now, this rumor starts off pretty much fan speculation. Battlefield 4 has been broken since launch, and let's all admit that we were a bit disappointed about the netcode. Now, there's no hardcore evidence, but everyone in the fan community kind of thinks this will be a good idea. That DICE should give away one of the future DLCs or China Rising or Second Assault. I personally think that it's a great idea, but looking from a business point of view, you have to think that it costs money to develop those DLCs, so it's really up to the publisher. And if you think about it, EA hasn't really been so stable ever since Sims 3. Of course, Battlefield 4 made tons of money from pre-orders, pre but I'm pretty sure premium is failing. Compared to Battlefield 3, a lot of protesters such as myself will not buy premium until the game actually works. I will admit that Battlefield 4 feels way better than it did at launch over the course of two months. I haven't had really any problems, so maybe I'll be picking up premium in the next month or so. On to our next little rumor. We all know the DLC has been delayed for a bit before DICE can finish up the main game. I personally think that this was a bluff by EA, trying to give fans some reassurance that they are doing the best they can. But usually in a developer studio, two different teams are working on DLC and the main multiplayer maps. Also netcode issues are included, so there was really no reason to stall DLC. Except if the DLC was never finished in the first place. And it's all a cover up. It's a conspiracy. Alright, maybe I'm a little out of my head. But our second rumor pretty much states that the second Assault DLC is going to be coming out January 1st, 2014. Seeing that all the second Assault maps are named something 2014. It is very likely that these maps are going to be coming out 2014 for everyone. And there's no other better date to launch a DLC than New Year's. So tell me guys, if you were to get a DLC free, which one would you choose? If I were up to bat to pick the DLC that everyone got for free, it would definitely be Second Assault. Operation Metro 2014 looks very cool. But when I think of Operation Metro, I think of Close Quarters, and that brings us to the best PDW ever, the UMP-45. Now Lupus, my friend, calls it the ump. <laughs> I'm not really sure why. But even though the ump is a very funny word, the UMP-45 is really nothing to joke about. It has a max damage of 35, with the drop off being 9 meters. From there, it goes all the way to 15.4 at the max of 48 meters. Now, the UMP-45 is very unique to the PDW class because it has the highest damage. So much stopping power really causes it to dominate when you're really close to enemies. But the major negative with the UMP-45 is that it has a very slow fire rate. A fire rate of 600 RPM is usually looked down upon, but the UMP counters that by having such a high damage and stopping power that you won't really notice that you are not spitting out bullets that fast, which is a good thing for accuracy. Also, something that the UMP-45 has over all other PDWs is that it can compete in medium range situations. Now, it cannot compete in long range at all. You may once in a while slip in those few bullets that finish off an enemy, but this isn't the best weapon for long range, but medium range it does pretty well with. And I know that everyone isn't really going to agree with my setup, but I slapped the 4X scope onto the UMP-45 and I surprisingly did better. I think because of the low RPM of the gun, it's easy to counter in medium range, short range firefights that I kind of had an advantage there. 
I could easily dominate assault players because their ADS time is way longer than mine. Plus the bullet damage, plus the high accuracy of this gun put me to the advantage of all other players. I felt like I had finally found that one gun that I can use every match and go on at least a five kill streak with. I really like the ump, but there is something that annoys me so much compared to the PDW. And it has to do with the FAMAS too. The UMP and the FAMAS only hold 26 bullets. So you run out of bullets pretty fast, especially on the FAMAS, but it's not as big as a deal on the UMP 45, but there isn't much support players actually throwing down ammo. So yeah, most of my kill streaks are ended by me trying to find a support guy that would throw down ammo. And most of the time, it didn't end so well. Once I was all out of ammo on the UMP 45, having a six kill streak at that point, trying to get the attack helicopter kill streak of seven people in a row, and I was down to my Rex. And I hate the Rex in Battlefield 4. I went back and played Battlefield 3 today, and the Rex was way more awesome in Battlefield 3 than it is in Battlefield 4. Just like the other revolver, the 44 Magnum. So yeah, I did make a mistake by keeping the Rex on my loadout, but the support is kind of messy right now. And I really hope that more people throw down ammo. And if you're watching this and you play support, please throw down ammo. I know there is kind of still a bug that you don't see ammo boxes on the mini map. That's something that definitely needs to be fixed and if there's any DICE employee or someone who knows a DICE employee, please make them fix it. I have followed support players around asking for ammo for days it feels like and they just don't take the time to throw it out. So if you're going to be using a PDW, do be cautious of how much ammo you're using Try not to spray the hip fire on the UMP 45 is amazing. Like literally, if you put a suppressor, a vertical grip, and a red dot sight, this is the king of hip fire. And this is basically going to be the best PDW you have ever played with. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Today's question of the day is if you could bring any gun from any game of Battlefield, what would you pick? I'll see you guys later. Stay creative, guys.